Welcome back everyone. In the last video we stopped at this point where we split up our project or our skeleton into different template files. And now in this video we're going to dive into our header file and create a real navigation and do some additional cool stuff. So let's get into it. I'll start by opening our header.php file. And uh, this is the way we left it last time. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'll change the title from just hello world to a WordPress PHP function, which will allow us to dynamically set the title on each page, each post where we are, so that we don't have the same title for all our pages. Makes sense, I guess. Okay, you just use the function WP title and this will provide the hook just like WP hat does for additional hat tags for the title in this case. Okay, so that's the title. Now let's get to the real navigation. As you might have already thought, um, WordPress provides a neat little function for us which creates a navigation bar. In fact, it has to do this because the user may and can change the menu from his dashboard. So the user decides which links should show up in the menu and therefore we just create a hook again, like always. You can always think of hooks you're setting in your theme for content customized and created by the user. And that's no different for the navigation. So let's write our PHP tags again. And within these tags, I'll set the function WP nav menu menu and what this does is it creates the just uh, explained hook and if we save this and open up our front end we can see that we now have this navigation here to the sample page and to the about page as you can see now it's a little bit hard to get back to our home page where we started because we don't have a link for that. And that's because it's not included in the non-configured standard navigation WordPress provides us. So we have to enable the user to configure his navigation bar. And we're doing this in the next step. We'll do this by enabling some general configuration for our navigation bar because you can pass some arguments to this function here and we're going to do just that. So I'm going to create an array args and what's interesting for us here is the theme location. So I'm just going to set this to primary and what this means is that the links displayed in this function here which gets the arguments args will appear will be those that are linked to the primary theme location and the user will be able to specify which menu should go to which location in his dashboard. So if we were to have a navigation in a footer with a theme location of secondary, then the user could divide up links between the header and the footer. Now to enable the user to choose the location, we have to register it. And we're doing this in our functions.php by adding register nav menu and then primary and then some description. Navigation in the header. This will be the description the user sees in his dashboard. And now we got everything prepared so that when we switch to our administration panel and we go to appearance menus, we can create a menu and I ha already have the home button added here. If you don't see this home menu item, go to view all, click home and then add to menu. Now in my case I have two, so I'm just going to oops, get rid of it. 
but now you should have your home link too. Then you just click create menu. And here under manage locations, you select menu one and save the changes. Now if we refresh our front end, we see that we now also got the home button. Which leads us back to our well home page. So content wise we could say that um, our navigation doesn't look that bad. Now let's do now let's do two other things. First, I really want to restyle this because this doesn't look very nice. And the second thing is I also want to add the possibility to add navigation items to our footer. Now what concerns the styling, this will be in the next video where we will generally restyle our current state of the website, but the footer we will add right now. So I'll open footer.php and we can basically just copy the code from header.php because remember it will be the same and just above WP footer, going to paste it in, reindent this a little bit, set this to secondary and also we now need to register the secondary navigation item here. Navigation in the footer. Save everything. And now just let, let's try this out. Edit the menus. Create a new menu. Footer menu links. Yeah. Create it and Let's say I want the sample page to be there too. And I will set, you can also set the theme location right here, navigation in the footer, save menu. And if we refresh our web page, we now also got this link in the footer here. And see how it also got the styling, the light blue background. This is because we provided the menu class styling and this is class WordPress will automatically use when generating your menus in the, in the header as well as in the footer. So that means that currently in the header we get it doubled because we get a div class menu and this code will also generate the div class menu so we can get rid of ours here. Now just re-indent. Save and if we now refresh, it just takes a little bit less space because um, it, it now has only one menu container. So that's it for this video. In the next one, we're going to do some real cool styling, making it look beautiful. And I hope I see you soon there. Bye.